Welcome to the shortcut class for the previous set theory Venn diagram questions. Now, see this question. Now, I will not be following the Venn diagram I gave you the other time to solve this, but I will give you a shortcut formula in order to solve this as soon as possible. The question says in a Geneva tutorial class of 30 students, that means the universal set, the number of those that are in the class, the universal set is equals to what? Is equals to 30. So let me denote the universal set with you. So 30 for the universal set, I have the number of those that study physics, number of physics to be 17, and numbers of those that study mathematics to be 15. And those, they said, they study neither. Neither means they don't study at all. Now, with my own uh, denotions, I use this for complement, that is, those I did not study at all, so that means they are what? They are 10. And they now ask the question that how many students study both physics and mathematics? That is, they are talking about the intersection of both physics and what? And mathematics. Now, how am I going to use the formula to solve this? Now, see, I'm going to introduce the formula that says I is equal to, into brackets, A plus B plus the complements the minus universal set. Now, let me denote this shortcut formula. The IM is the intersection, that is, those that study the both. And the M is the first set, the B is the second set, and you have these to be the complement, those that not study at all. And the U means the words, the universal set. And as the question says, we should find those that study words, the both subjects, definitely, which is I. So that means our I will now be A, that is the first subject, that's physics, that's 17 plus our B, which is 15, then plus those that did not study at all, and that's 10. In case you are not given, in case they said the, everybody participates in the world, in the course or in the tutorial, then definitely that complement will be what? Reserved. The minus universal set, which is 30. Then if you calculate this very well, this will be equal to 42, the minus 30. So the final answer is what? It's 12. Now can you see? we are able to derive the words, the, the intersection, that is those that study both mathematics and physics, or those that study both physics and mathematics. Now with this formula, we've been able to solve the first question. But the second question says, how many students or how many of them study only mathematics? Now, with this shortcut formula, I will still go with this if they say only A. Listen. Only A, the formula will be, only A will be universal set minus B. That is opposite of it. You know, this question only deals with two circles. Next question, I'll be dealing with when you are given two circles, three circles. That is, when you are given three circles to solve, instead of you using Venn diagram, you don't need to use that, just use this shortcut. Now, only A will now be equal to universal set minus B plus the complement. Then if they ask that what is only B, only B will now be universal set minus A plus complement. So that means you have the, the question to be, that is the formula to be only A will now be universal set minus the second subject. Now, the reason why they ask, they ask for only mathematics. Only mathematics, according to that, will now be universal set minus the second subject, which is what physics plus the complement. Now, so, only mathematics will not be the universal set is 30 minus those that study physics is what? Is 17. We check. Then plus the complement we have is what? Is 10. Then if you open this, this should be equal to 30 minus 27. And the answer is equal to what? 3. If you use your Venn diagram as well, you are going to get the same answer. But we are using this because of those that are uh, doing the CBT exams. Now, let me solve the second one, but did not ask us. If they say only physics now, only physics will not be what? Universal set minus what? Minus those that study what? Mathematics plus the complement. Then only physics will not be, what's your universal set? That's 30 minus those that study mathematics. And that's equal to what? 15. Then plus the complement is what? Is 10. So if you now check, that will be 30 minus, this one is what? 25. So 30 minus 25, that's equal to what? That's equal to 5. So those that study only physics is five. Those that study only mathematics is three. Those that study the two subjects 
and what? Are twelve. And this is the way to solve it. Let's get to the second question. Reference to the previous question. The same question says, in a class of 70 people, then six like testy time, 34 like ice cream, and six like both testy time and ice cream. How many people like Nelda testy time, no ice cream? The Nelda means those that don't like the both. That is, they don't like any of the two. Now, using the previous shortcut formula, which says the i is equal to, don't forget to have into brackets a plus b, then plus the complement, those that don't like anything, the minus the universal set. Don't forget this time around, we are looking for those that are not like anything at all, and that is the complement here. Then that means we have the intersection, that is those that like the both, which is six. The six like both test time and high speed. So we have six to be equal to into brackets. Those that like those that like A, that is the first one, that's 36, plus the second one, which is 34, plus what we are looking for, the minus those in the class. That's 70 people. Now this becomes 6 is equal to the 6 plus this, that's 70 plus the complement, the minus 70. You observe that 70 here will cancel the 70 here. So which says 6 is equal to the complement. That's just the complement is equal to 6 pupils. So 6 pupils do not like either the testy time and the ice cream. That is that without the words, the Venn diagram, I can be able to solve this in a short period of time. And let's get to the three circle. That is three diagram. Let's see. Let's go to that. Now, this is the third question. And in this third question, don't forget, in the previous two questions, we talk about the Venn diagram with two circle. Two Venn diagram. We don't use the Venn diagram method, we use the shortcut. Now, this time around, we'll be looking at the three circle. So, in this case, we are given this type of question now. Some of you will definitely use the method of the Venn diagram in three circle to solve this. But this time around, I will not use that. I will use the shortcut formula to solve this. And we are going to get the same answer if you try using your aunt method, that is the Venn diagram to solve. Now, see, they said in the survey of 60 people, that shows that those in the class is 60. Or the total number of people in the set is 60. Then they now said, it was found that 25 read news magazine. So numbers of those that read news magazine is 25. And 26 read time. So numbers of those that read time is 26. Now say 26 read fortune. That shows that the numbers of those that read fortune is 26. Now said also, nine read Newsweek and Fortune. That means those that read Newsweek and Fortune are what? Are nine. And those that read uh, Newsweek and Time, they said 11 read Newsweek and Time. So Newsweek and Time, that's 11. And 8 read Time and what? And Fortune. So that means we have this word, 8. And now said, 8 read no magazine at all. That is, those that did not read anything is what? Is 8. I'm coming to that. So that means, you know, if you want to represent that in the, in the set, we have it to be complement. Don't forget, according to the shortcut we are using here, we have it to be complement. And that's what? 8. Now, the formula says, our, com our union, that is, the, the intersection rather, the intersection, don't forget, I told you that I means intersection. The intersection of the three sets we have here is equal to the universal set minus A plus B plus C plus the complement, then plus X plus Y plus Z. Now this X plus Y plus Z, we are talking about, if you are talking about X plus Y plus Z, then we are talking about all this, that is, those ones that are your two, 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 two. So you can represent any of this to be X, any of this to be Y, and any of this to be, to be Z. No arrangement. Yes, there's no arrangement. So I can decide to place 11 first, then 9, then what? Then 8. But just know that this arrangement is for those that what? That study what? 2, 2. Whenever you are given what? The 3 circle. 
Now, when you now have it like this, oil let us insert. That means the intersection of this, that is the question we ask to find, find numbers of those that read all the three magazines. And that is I, the intersection. Will now be the universal set, which is equal to. Now, what's the universal set we have? We have it to be 60, the minus. Now, in Sachs, the first news, the first newspaper, don't forget, Newsweek, that's 25, plus second one, 26, plus third one, that's 26, plus complement. Complement means those that did not study, that's what's 8. Then plus your x, y, and z. I told you, you can list this anyhow you want it, which is we have 9 plus 11 plus 8. Now, if we check this, we have i. So because 60 minus. Now, this one should give you 85, then plus you have this to be 28. Now, if you have this to be 28, now I here should give you the final answer to be 3. Now, if the final answer here is 3, then believe me, you have the, the, the they are talking about those that was that study all the three magazines. And that's because word three, which is this. Without using the Venn diagram method, we are able to have to find out those that study the words, the three. The next question says, those that was that read exactly one magazine. We are saying exactly one magazine. Exactly one magazine is talking about addition of only that is only Newsweek plus only Time plus only fortune. This is exactly one magazine. Are we together? That is exactly one one of the magazine. So now that's I'm going to give you two methods here. That is, I'm going to explain two things here. That is, if you may not be asked to find exactly, you may just be asked to find, they may just give you find only newsweek and find only time, find only fortune. Don't forget, I gave you the formula for that in the previous example we did. But this time around, I'm going to take two things together. If you are saying to find exactly one magazine, exactly one magazine is the addition of only one of the words of the magazine in the question. That means, if you are not looking at the question, if you ask to find only A, only A according to the formula is equal to A, then minus X plus Y, plus intersection. Then at the same time, only B will not be equal to B minus X plus Z plus intersection. Then only C will not be equal to C minus Y plus Z plus intersection. Now, some of you, you just don't know that this thing, you don't need to call this x, y, x, y, and z. You don't need this. Look at how I'm going to solve it. Now, I need exactly one magazine of this, which I told is equals to only Newsweek, only Time, and only Fortune. Now, if we are asked to find only Newsweek now, how many students or how many people read only Newsweek? I'll just say. Now, if I follow the first one, only A is A, that means only Newsweek in other words, Newsweek minus See, you don't need to cram, your, cram this x and y in the sense that you just have to check in this boat. Don't forget that I told you that x, y, and z is what? Boat. Now, you now check in this boat which one contains what you are finding. That is Newsweek. That is your x and y. That means I will now check this one contains the Newsweek and this one also contains Newsweek. You observe that the third one does not contain Newsweek. So that means you are dealing with the addition of the words of the first two years. That means what you are going to have here is only Newsweek, I will together, then you can say plus X, Y, then plus words, intersection. But I told you that the words, the X and Y here, you don't need this. So only Newsweek can now be, what's the, what's the value of those that read Newsweek? That's 25, the minus the X and Y. Just check here, the one of both that contain the Newsweek. And when you observe this one contain Newsweek, that's nine. Plus the second one, which continues with that's what 11. Plus your intersection, the intersection we got the other time is what 3. And if you check there, this one becomes 25 minus this one is 20, then plus what? Plus 3. 25 minus 20 will be 5, then plus 3, that's equal to what? 8. So that means 
only new sweet is equal to what? Is equal to 8. Then let's check for the other two. Then only time. Now you believe with me that only time, if you are following it, will not be only time will not be equal to time, then minus. You can use x and y, you can use y plus x, you can use z plus y, any time, anyhow. So if I use x plus z for this, then plus what? Plus i. Now just know that your x plus z will not be the boat that contain what you are looking for. That is the, that's the secret. So that means only time will not be time. Now the total number of the time is what? Is 16. Minus, you now go to the boat. Those that study what? Time. That means when you check here, there's time here and there's time here. There's no time in this first one. So that means those that study time, the boat that contain time. That means we have 11 hours and 8. Then plus the complement which is what? 3. And now this will be 26 minus 11 plus 8 to be what? 19. Then plus what? Plus 3. You get the final answer here. You know, this should be 26. The minus 22. 26 minus 22. That will now be equal to what? 4. 26 minus 22 will be equal to what? 4. Then the last thing, we have only fortune. Now, only fortune, that will now be what? Fortune, the minus. You can have y plus z then plus what plus intersection don't forget i told you you can use any of the alphabet x y and z anyhow but just get the understanding very well then only fortune will now be fortune which is equal to what 26 minus then those that contain what fortune in this boat and those that contain fortune in this boat is this there's fortune here and there's fortune here don't forget that the middle here does not contain fortune then we have it to be into bracket that's nine plus the third one here which contain fortune as well that's eight plus the intersection which is 3. If you check this very well, this will now be 26 minus. You have this in the middle to be what? To be 9, to be 17. Plus what? Plus 3. If you check this very well, that becomes 6. Because that will be 26 plus what? Plus 20. And that's equals to 6. Now, in the case whereby they ask to find only one of the magazine or only one of the option here, then this is how you solve it. Assuming they may not just ask you to find exactly. Just ask you to find only new suit. Just use this straight. But now, if it's exactly now, exactly one, exactly one will now be addition of the words of the one, which be you have the only new suite to be eight plus only time, which is four, then plus only fortune, which is six. If you have this very well, this will be because words eighteen. And don't forget, this is the final answer for the two questions. Then in the next episode for the set theory, we'll be dealing with another questions and with another option. Then there we'll be talking about. You can be asked to find exactly two magazines. That one as well as the shortcut. Exactly two or exactly two options. And I will be coming with different questions as well in order to solve. So please and please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know the next calculator method or the next shortcut that you want. God bless you.